Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. A little strange, different time as openings to this channel and the gardening programmes. We will get into some gardening today later. It's just to give you a little quick announcement and things that are going on, what I've got planned. Don't forget, if you want to win the competition to win the Green Sensation Vitapod, the deluxe large one, the three tier one, as you can see myself demonstrating here, um, please watch this video. And this will give you the instructions how to enter this competition. It is open until the 17th of April. So please put um, put your email in. You never know. You could win a, win one of these Vitapods. And I'm a great believer in them now. You know, I've tried them this year. And it just has changed my gardening time tremendously. You know, fantastic, to be honest. So looking forward to... To seeing who wins on this competition. 17th of April is the closing day. I will announce the winner after that. And what I'm trying to do is trying to, you know, in these uncertain times, is trying to get a bit more content out. I know now one of our team members is self-isolating, you know, and got to stay in the house. And it's a little bit, it's a difficult time. So hopefully I can get some more content out. One of my ideas is to do a... Watch along, yes, hello, yes. So the, the the idea is to we all sit around and we'll watch a bit like Gogglebox. You'll watch me watching a, an old episode of, and it's going to be fork to fork. And I think there's about six or seven episodes in that series where we'll just, you know, I think the way it's going to run is for it'll run for about an hour. In the first 15 minutes, we'll get to know each other and we'll have a little chat in the in the chat room. And that's the, that's the idea, really the key to this whole idea, is to get folks, bring folks together in the chat. And then there'll be a link so you can actually go and watch at the same time I'm watching this fork to fork. We can all watch it together and I'll be commentating, or not commentating, but, you know, just throwing in the odd comments about it and by all means it's open for everyone to kind of to just drop their comments in the live chat and talk about it and then at the end we'll have again another 15 minutes of getting together and pulling this together and having and hopefully not ripping it to shreds because this is one of this is I think this is the, the garden program that was the defining moment in gardening for me this is the one that it sparked the, the kind of the interest and the, the love for gardening. So, yeah, so stick around. Look out for, like I say, I'll set the premiere away. I've, I do, in this video that you're about to watch, mention Monday or Sunday. I can't remember which one. But I, I'm actually night shifts, and it might not work there, so we might do it on the Wednesday. But if you just look for the for that thumbnail, the date will be there, and there'll be a link as well, I'll you know, Come over, get that link, and then that'll take you to the, the actual show to watch. And they're up there on, on the internet, you know what I mean? We're not kind of breaking any rules, they're there, we can watch them. I'll not be playing the show, you'll just have to watch it on your device. So it might be, the way I'm working, that you might need two devices. You might need a computer to do the, the live chat, if you actually want to read the live chat, and another device like your phone or an iPad to to watch the TV show. Yeah, I think on, on iPads, they might be able to do split screen. I'm not 100% sure up there. I will check that for you. But hopefully, you will enjoy it. And it goes without saying, we can, you know, if this one, if we like this, we can actually go back and find some more old, you know, the vintage shows from the 70s, you know, the 70s and the 80s, you know, early Gardner's World and Percy Thrower and the whole lot. And have a little look at them shows and see what changed, what techniques have changed. So I think it's time we kicked off and we let that young fella, that young gardener, young handsome one, take us through what's happening in the allotment of deer. Morning everyone, back up to the allotment where, where I belong there, get away from this isolation. <laughs> well I'm not getting isolated yet, let's just put this down. We are, in my job, 
like I say, I work for the water board, so we kind of got to make sure we're, we're in. Eventually, we're, we might go down, but I mean, it might be in more often than not. But hopefully, I can still get these videos out here. So, yes, hopefully, I can get that what I'm calling a watch along. <laughs> you can come and join us. I'm probably looking at that Monday, which would be great. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes this Monday. Do look out for the links and join me. That would be fantastic. So I'm going to try and actually do some planting today. A couple of things. And I bought some peas and I couldn't find the blooming seeds where I'd put them. And obviously I've put them, as you, you know, in my, in my little seed box. But I've got a few of these. These are in the tomatoes, chilies, beetroot, onions and peppers box. My filing system. And they were in there. So... I'm going to try, <laughs> as you do, put the peas in there. So a few marsh shoot and some peas in one of the bed. I think I'm going to do that today. And hopefully get some potatoes planted. We have... Now there's, a bit, there's been a big discussion on the uh, big discussion on pots and tubs and where to put them and different people's theories. I'm still going to put them in a bed. But I'm changing my mind slightly to the size. I think I'm going to go initially with the big pot. And I can just turn you around. Oh, that's right in the sun. I apologise for that. Hey, man, isn't it just... I love... I nearly swore there. Get this garden. Oh, oh I forgot. I think it was Scott kept on Badger just to, to tidy up this bloody fence and, and get it... <laughs> Get it fixed to that, that bed there. And I forgot my bloody drill. So, look at them, man, now, them weeds I mentioned the other day. Oh, hey, hey, terrible. That's with, do you know what I mean? That's, that's actually proven a little theory, you know, of no dig and you dig and you're, you're churning up your seeds and everything like that. So, just... That's the size pot I'm going to probably use for my potatoes first off and, you know, try and get get a few potatoes out there. And I'm obviously, now I'm going to go for more than what I planned. Do you think I can get two in there? I haven't got a... Let's go and get it. Let's go and let's do this now. I haven't even took my bloody coat off, man. So is everybody all right? Like I say, hopefully I'm going to get more content up there now. But it all depends on... I had all these great plans, but then if, if work calls us in, you know, you've got to kind of step up to the morgue and do that. Make sure the water's running to the taps. I have only got... Oh, I didn't I? Oh, <laughs> my plans. Didn't I give them them big pots to me dad? So I've got four there. I've probably got four or five, and that's it. Well, I probably wouldn't got enough for that kind of comp. Anyway, that's not making for an exciting video. Let's see if I can get this out. Put this down there. Right. I think when I had, to be honest, it may be all right. I think when I had these thirties on the concrete, they dried out a lot quicker than what they did on the on the soil. So maybe I can put some, but I've only got that side. This is what, this is the quandary and you're seeing it in real time. If I've only got them few there, that's going to knock the aesthetics <laughs> of the, I've changed my mind again. I'm going to go back for these 30 mil pots and sink them in a little bit into one of the beds. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'll take my coat off as well. And a big thank you for everyone. I never even would have thought of this, mind you. That's why it's great, this little community. Big thank you to everyone that mentioned about the ivy. With the ivy, here you go. This is a top tip for you as well. I'm just going to now use it for paths. And you can see down there I did. I put it up on some paths. And it doesn't look as nice, mind you. Do you know what I mean? But I'm going to just use it for paths. Because there might be a lot of seeds in there. And things might sprout away again, being ivy, it's a bugger. So, no, I'm not going to use it for mulch in the tomato plants. 
what I am going to do, I think I'm just going to stick to my normal method of putting them in the pots and growing them up. But using the, the, the kind of the hooks, the tomato hooks, but putting them in pots along here. So that's the, that's the method. So there, 12 in that bed, and sink them in a little bit, that'll work, that'll be nice. And hopefully, like I say, they'll just keep a little bit moisture in. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, honestly, we're, we're not sure how this kind of, this year's gonna play out. And, you know, when you go on holiday and stuff, it, it you know, they were on there, it might've been that, that dried them out. So, we'll see, but they actually can't go there because didn't I put my onions there? Now, which ones did I say? Because I've got my labels there now and I'm forgetting I'll have to go back. And someone, because I asked just to remind us, what, <laughs> what have I got in there? So them two beds are taken up. Could I put a bit in there? That's got that. I think I'm going to go for this bed here. This bed here is going to be my potato bed. Right. And actually, I'm not going to put them in just yet because we've had... We've had some big old frosts on a night time. And I don't know how many I'm going to plant up today, but I'm going to just keep them in the, in the polytunnel for the maybe a week or two, a couple of weeks. So I'm going to bring in my bull fishing bone and my pots and get them just planted up there now. I'm probably going to go and do these first, the Desri ones first. In them, I'm only going to use like two Two potatoes in each pot. That's, that's the plan. I'm going to sprinkle a few of these chicken pellets as well on me onions, which I've got out there, which you're going to remind us when I planted. I think it was the stir on ones. And I'm just, hopefully, stop a few bolting. I'm gonna do that now, <laughs> while I remember. Oh. Show you better. Over here. There you go. So once these actually come through, I'll probably put a little bit more compost on just to fill it out you know like it's like a bank them up it within the pot but for now that's good there you go i found these i tried the wooden things i tried to be kind of politically correct but i tried these just work the wooden ones just it stained the words and i couldn't understand them and then rot but hopefully i can wipe this with a bit like nail varnish remover and I can see it that's big so like I said I'm going to leave them there I'll top them back up a little bit and put them out and next time and they probably there's no rush to do them these are main crop so a couple of weeks easy for you know the other ones I might actually use all my buckets, so we'll see how it goes. It's strange times indeed. So, I'm going to put some peas in and some marge too as well. So, the ones I'm putting in are Kelvedon Wonder early peas and Norrill. Norrill, these are by Johnson's. I'm going to, well, I might. I picked up these as well. Some, you know, that purple kale, just more for colour in the garden you know I'll see how I go so I'm gonna probably two rows sure how many's in there actually two rows of the peas and I'll show you that because I'm gonna use you know that twi that 
twine. One second, I know you can't see us, but that's, this makes for really kind of quirky video. So you're just staring at a seat tin. <laughs> People just turned in now, will be wondering what's going on. So I'm gonna try and use this, you know, and I don't mind if it rots, you know, like a one go. And then I got some kind of willow sticks as well. So I'm gonna try and use them as well. I think there's possibly 20. And they're one meter, one meter two for these. So I'm gonna use them as my pea sticks. Let's go. Now, you know, when I was just saying, probably about five minutes ago with the videos, I'm putting the potatoes here, I'm not. I'm gonna put the potatoes actually on that one when I come in. These are gonna be the two peas ones. That's what I'm gonna do. Change your plans, always have a change of plans. Mind you, I cannot. I never stick to it like, a, you know, you see the kind of garden planners coming out with the kind of little through the winter. I never do that. Just, because it always, it always, I can never stick to a plan, to be honest. Actually, you know, I'm saying that. <laughs> that bed, you know, what I had the, that would make a great, probably potato one, because I could put lo the whole kit and caboodle in there. Maybe three, three wide. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell, Percy threw a wooden bloody, put the whole lot in that bed. <sighs> yeah, I think I might, you know, I think I actually might. Because, you know, it's wide enough, as you can see. So whatever pots I've got, I'll just fill that, you know what I mean? You see, now if you'd planned that with your little planner, it wouldn't have bloody worked, wouldn't it not? Right, I'm gonna do these peas there now. Actually, in the peas packet, there was way more. You know, I'm probably going to get quite easy, you know, that maybe two beds done. But in the March too, there wasn't that many. So this is probably the only bed I've got. And like I say, I'm going to weave some string, plant these out. I might have to put a little bit of netting over just to, so the birds don't <laughs> pinch the pea shoots. There we go. I might as well stick to the same filing system then. Put that in, put the peas in the tomatoes tin, you know. Could I get another? I could probably get it. No, I don't even know if I could get a, a row there. There's probably about 30 little seeds there. Well, anyway. So do subscribe if you're new to this channel. That would be fantastic. Take good care. Ah. Uh -huh.